Welcome back. Okay, mom, you have officially been replaced as your daughter's matchmaker. A study now shows online dating may be responsible for a decline in setup dates put together by mom, dad, family, and friends. Joining us now is an expert on the topic, editorial director of Bumble, Claire O'Connor. So right now we're hearing that tech could be replacing the good old fashioned fix up, and that may be scary for some people, but how should a tech savvy society be looking at this? Yeah. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So yeah, there's um, a study out of, study out of Stanford recently showing that for the first time, online dating has replaced you you know these quote unquote traditional ways, whether that's good old mom, um, <laughs> or coworkers, or just meeting in a bar. Um, I think that we have some really great concrete tips on how to maximize this and take advantage of it. Um, we actually now have. 85 million users worldwide. We've been around for five years. Um, so we have a lot of data to mine from. Um, and I will say the first thing that we've really noticed um, is that folks who use profile badges tend to have 51% more matches, which is really significant. Um, and what a profile badge is, uh, you go into the back end of the app, uh, and basically it's a way of signaling through these little badges something about your lifestyle and values. So you may select the fitness badge to show you love to work out. You may select the no smoking badge or the wine glass badge to show that you do like a social drink. Um, uh, it might not surprise you to learn that the two most popular badges are the pet badge to show you're a dog mm -hmm. lover or you just want a dog. Um, and the Zodiac badge, actually. Folks are really interested in both showing off their star sign and finding out what their potential matches star sign is. Okay, Claire, and I think one of the things that these badges are really doing are putting our likes and dislikes forward. Like, for instance, we saw in some video, it said no mirror selfies. So, you know, nobody coming at you with those photos. How does this actually help to get you and a potential match on the same page? Yeah, it's. <laughs> I think photos are really a big part of it. Um, we have noticed over the years that there might be folks who, again, have picked that that one selfie that's their favorite or, you know, a f another photo from 20 years ago where they felt really hot. By the way, the 20 year old <laughs> photo is fooling no one. Um, we really recommend to show this potential match more about yourself. Upload all six photos on our app. There are six photo slots. Really let that say something about yourself. Um, whether, again, you are a pet lover and your dog is at the center of your life, you'll want a photo of you and your dog. Or say you're an avid hiker, avid kayaker, have a photo of you doing that sport you love so much. And definitely try to avoid shots where it's like you and your six best friends. Um, that's making it much more difficult for a potential match to know who you are and it might cause some awkward conversation. Okay, and let's get real here because with 85 million people and so many people still out there trying to find someone, how do you know that somebody you're chatting with is a profile that you'd be interested in and if that person's actually gonna be like that in real life? Well, I know that over the years, uh, the term catfish has really gone mainstream, um, and the mm -hmm. internet can really still feel like the Wild West. Um, so what we have done um, is we have a photo verification tool. So we'll have someone upload their photo, and then we'll have a prompt. It changes day by day. Uh, it might be put your hand on your head or <laughs> put your arm across your body. And then our moderators can say, aha, okay this is a real person, they exist, and there'll be a blue check on your profile. So it just goes some way to making you feel like, oh, actually, this is the person I'm talking to. Okay, thank you, Claire, for all of those tips and hopefully a lot of future relationships coming forward from dating apps like that. Thank you for having me.